All right, so in this problem, I have x minus 3 squared <clears throat> is equal to x squared. So to solve this, I want to find the value of x. So for my solution, first start with x minus 3 squared is equal to x squared. Then I'm going to subtract x squared on both sides. So now I have x minus 3 squared minus x squared is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is x minus 3 and b is x. So I have x minus 3 plus x times x minus 3 minus x. And this is equal to 0. So what we have to do is simplify this. So for x minus 3 plus x, I'm going to add these two x's. So now I have 2x, and then I have minus 3 at the end, times for x minus 3 minus x. Cancel out the x and negative x. So now I'm left with negative 3 is equal to 0. So now, if I go ahead and distribute this negative 3, negative 3 times 2x is negative 6x. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9 is equal to 0. So I subtract 9 on both sides. I get negative 6 is equal to 9. Sorry, negative 6 is equal to negative 9. And then I divide both sides by negative 6. And I get x is equal to 3 over 2. Now another way I could do this is I'm actually going to write this up here. I have 2x minus 3 times negative 3 is equal to 0. This time I can actually divide both sides by negative 3. So I get 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. So 2x is equal to 3 and x is equal to 3 over 2. So that's two different subparts of solving this. And 3 over 2 is my solution. All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of x squared over 4 to the power of x is equal to 16. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to rewrite 4 here as 2 squared. So now I have 2 to the power of x squared over 2 squared to the power of x is equal to 16. I'm going to rewrite as 2 to the power of 4. Now this is the same thing as 2 to the power of x squared over 2 to the power of 2x is equal to 2 to the power of 4. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So 2 to the power of x squared over 2 to the power of 2x, that's going to equal 2 to the power of x squared minus 2x, which is equal to 2 to the power of 4. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case x squared minus 2x is equal to 4. So now if I subtract 4 on both sides, I get x squared minus 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. Now to solve this, I'm going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 2, and c is negative 4. So now I have x is equal to negative of negative 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 4 all over 2a. So this is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 
4 minus, sorry, plus 16 all over 2, which is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 20 over 2. And the square root of 20 is the same thing as 5 times 4. 4 is the same thing as 2 times 2. So this is 2 root 5. So now I have x is equal to 2 plus or minus 2 root 5 over 2. If I divide this by 2, I get x is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5. So this is my solution to this problem. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 4 minus 25 is equal to 0. So I'm going to find the value of x here. So for my solution, first start with x to the power of 4 minus 25 is equal to 0. Now, I'm going to rewrite x to the power of 4 as x to the power of 2 times 2. And I'm going to rewrite 25 as 5 squared. If I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So in this case, x to the power of 2 times 2, I can rewrite as x to the power of 2 to the power of 2. Now I have this minus phi to the power of 2 is equal to 0. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is x squared and b is 5. So I have x squared plus 5 times x squared minus 5 is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have x squared plus 5 is equal to 0, and I have x squared minus 5 is equal to 0. So for x squared plus 5 equals 0, I'm going to subtract 5 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I have x squared is equal to negative 5. Now, if I take the square root on both sides, I get the square root of x squared is equal to the square root of negative 5. Now the square root of x squared is simply x, so I have x is equal to the square root of 5 times the square root of negative 1. And if you guys already know, the square root of negative 1 is simply equal to i. So I have x is equal to the square root of 5i. And this is going to be plus or minus because the square root is going to be positive or negative. So this is going to be x is equal to the square root of 5i and x is equal to negative square root of 5i. So these are my two solutions. Now, we have another equation here, x squared minus 5 equals 0. And to solve this, I'm going to add 5 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I have x squared is equal to positive 5. Now to solve this, I'm going to take the square root on both sides. The square root of x squared is x, this, and I have this positive or negative square root of 5. So my four solutions to this problem are x is equal to the square root of 5, x is equal to negative square root of 5, x is equal to the square root of 5i, and x is equal to negative square root of 5i.